Investigators in the small town in the Canadian city of La Magantic say they're still trying to figure out exactly what happened that caused a deadly train derailment over the weekend. The train was carrying up to one million gallons of crude oil. It suddenly dislodged, sending dozens of highly explosive cars crashing into a packed bar with several buildings nearby. Thirteen people are confirmed dead at this point, and dozens more are still considered missing. The latest accidents has environmentalists asking if the current rail safety measures are strong enough. Christian Yo investigates from Toronto. It's a railway town's worst nightmare, an out-of-control train loaded with oil plowing through the heart of the community. While the Lac Megantic tragedy is investigated, many here are considering the deadly risks attached to moving oil by rail, a practice that has ballooned in recent years. The Canadian rail industry's own estimates show oil shipments have increased by 28,000 per cent since 2009. It tripled between 2011 and 2012. Um, it's projected to double or triple again this year. As the tar sands production increases, as shale oil production increases, they're increasingly putting that onto rail. With pipelines flowing at full capacity and new ones still awaiting approval, rail operators presented themselves as the next best thing. Pipelines have always been seen as a more cost-efficient way to move very large volumes of uh, whether it's oil or natural gas. Um, I think the railroads represent sort of an, an alternative, but there are environmental risks associated with doing that as well. Namely, derailments. According to Canada's Transportation Safety Board, Lac Megantic is the fourth recorded oil train accident so far this year. The last one, less than two weeks ago, occurred on a flood-hit bridge in Calgary. The mayor suggested that operator Canadian Pacific had cut corners on safety. I'll be very blunt. I'll probably get in trouble for saying this. We've seen a lot of people lose their jobs at CP over the last year. How many bridge inspectors did they fire? The industry claims a safety record of 99.9%, but recent events have sparked a debate about safety standards and the current infrastructure, which some argue should have been strengthened years ago. We haven't done that because we prioritized profits over safety. It would cost more to do this. It would cost you know, slightly more per barrel of oil to ship it in safer cars. And so we've taken that risk. We've loaded the dice in favor of these, this type of disaster. And I think we now need to take a step back and say, well, let's not do that anymore. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.